counted on by the Tommies to this point. Yeah, he's been terrific in the time he's been tending net for the Tommies. All right, we are underway. Minnesota controls the opening draw, plays it in, but he can't get around Renzel, who takes it to the corner. Tommies jump out of there, turnover in front, and a quick shot hammered up high over the top of the net by Quinton Pepper. It was a gift for Quinton Pepper. Yeah, Gophers turned the puck over in their own end. Pepper right up in front, that puck came. Balloon plays it in deep, but then Foley, nice move to sidestep him, get the puck and push it back out to neutral. 13.20 to go in the first. Tommy's on the attack. Moquist scores! Liam Moquist, the Adina product, puts the Tommies on the board first. Just a pass. Watch the breakout here. And a two-on-two -two develops. Wallen with the puck. He's just going to drop it back to Wal to Malmquist. And that space right there was wide open. And Malmquist. Out of the reach of Jimmy Clark. Snuggerud pops in the corner trying to pop it free. Does. Backhander. Didn't get through. Now here's a shot. Oh. They score! It's all tied up. The captain, Ryan. Chesley buries it, and we're even at a goal apiece. Question about it. Jimmy Snugger made this play. Watch Connor Kirk not keep the puck in, and Snugger backs that puck over to Ryan Chesley. No one on that weak side, and Chesley lets that wrist shot go from the top of the circle, that beat side bell. Oh. Minnesota gets a little momentum now. Here is where St. Thomas. Oh, yeah, the door said they score, and it's 2-1. And just what you said, St. Thomas didn't want to see happen. They did as Balloon wrapped it in after a beautiful setup by Sam Renzel. But look at Hugland wins the draw, and Renzel, Renzel with that long reach and speed just throws it across, goes around the net. August Balloon. Found some space, kicked it with his skate right into his stick and put it home. He's so confident with the puck pad, he's not worried about giving it up. No, and, and when he can join the rush like he does, it just makes it so much more difficult to defend. And there's another goal stuck in the corner by Connor Kurth, his fifth of the season already, and Minnesota has come roaring back with three unanswered. With the puck, watch as the puck is going to come out to the blue line. And Kester is going to take that thing down low. Connor Kirk positions himself right in front of Seidel. And is able to put it right under him to give the goal for All three of those goals as the smelling salt comes out. You know it's hockey season yeah. when you're pulling out the smelling salts on the bench. You know it's for real then. Takes a look, tried to play it in deep, hit a Tommy stick, deflects the pulse, and he slides it ahead. Here's Cruz going in, and he couldn't finish it. Seibel doesn't know where it is. It's behind the net. Now here's Wood with it. A good chance there for the Tommies by Wallen. Yeah, just a mistake by, by the Tommies. Losing the puck there. Connor Kurth in all alone. He kind of ran out of room and slided under the... As he got kind of crossed up with his teammate, the puck came free. Now Wood turning inside his own blue line. Matthew Wood across the line, gets by one man, oh. scores! Oh, what a shot by Matthew Wood! And it's 4-1 Minnesota! Watch him. Wood's going to get the puck right in his own blue line. And just wait and go around that defenseman with that size and reach. And then he, you know what? He's just so, what am I going to do? What am I, I going to pass it? Seibel. As Kester went down, that second one stung him. He's slow to get up, but he is back up on his feet. And now a turnover. Here's Lamb going right in. And he couldn't finish on the backhand. Now good positioning by Seibel again. And, and, and probably the only penalty that should have been called. Um, I thought there'd be a little more hitting, uh, you know, a little more, um, I don't know if you want to call it anger. Murnau floats it in, Wallen standing, ready to jump back on the ice, centering pass. Kurt trying to track it down, 
it. It's just pushed wide by Moore. Wrap around. And is it in? I don't know. And watch him. He's going to throw it right out in front. Oh, boy. That is that is really close. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I think that could be a combination that would work. Here is Riddell busting in, oh. scores! What a goal, Sam Riddell, and it's five-one Gophers. Shots, exact same spot. Watch Matthew Wood just hold on to the puck. Connor Kirk spots Riddell, and I mean, he just picked his spot, let it go. And Cybele had no chance on it. Whoa! Spot Whipple coming down the far side, but it was deflected away from him. Tuggeroo now goes for a skate. He'll float it back to Chesley. Long shot deflected, they score! And it's 6-1 now as the Gophers have taken this one and blown it open here in the third. Haphazardly, watch him just a little, little flip pass back to Chesley. He's gonna take that shot, and Brody Lamb gets himself in position, gets a piece of that, and directs it by the goaltender, Cybell, to give the Gophers a six. Gophers control the rebound. Snuggerud's turnaround shot didn't get through. Lamb centers it. Comes all the way back through to the point. Long shot there by Middlestad, hit a leg. Cal Thomas, rather. Over still control. Renzel <laughs> keeps it alive. Goes for a skate. Renzel right to the net. Backhander score! Wow! I got nothing. <laughs> Typically, most guys would just throw it in. He spins. Takes it hard to the net. Has that long reach. Look at that long reach of his. He's going to pull it to his backhand, right upstairs. Absolutely nothing Cybell can do on that. Sam Renzel, second of the night. And this St. Thomas team is predicted to win the CCHA, right. so they are a good club. Here comes Wallen driving in, short-handed. Save is made, and then he's hauled down. And we'll see, will it be just a penalty or perhaps more? Goal from St. Thomas. Look, look at it, he just charges hard. He's going to take it all the way hard to the net. As you see, Ryan Chesley had no choice but to get his arms around him and pull him down. And it bounces off the intended target stick. Cheslock drops it off. Pullman activates. He'll take it around. Wrap around the tent. But waiting for it there was Airy. Loose puck on the far side. You know, because it. It's really a, a team-type thing. But Rollins getting a little overactive.